The movie opens up in one of the famous cities of China, Guangzhou, where an old man is telling a story about how a ruthless villain known as Jin Tianbo killed 18 members of a single family with his impressive hand skills. A group of youngsters, along with the third master, Huang, are listening to the story with great attention. Huang is really impressed by the story, so he gives the old man some money. The youngsters and childhood friends, Chao Xin Hu, Bang Min Ro, Chen Wen Xing, and his sister, Xiangger, admire Huang for his generosity and leave the place, but not before thanking the old man for telling them the awesome story. In the next scene, the four friends are playing with each other in an open field and discussing the ruthlessness of Jin Tianbo. All of a sudden, Xiao gets up and explains that if he comes across Jin, he will use his Baji fist skills to kill him instantly. Hearing this, his other friends make fun of him as he's only read about the Baji fist kills and has never put it into practice. Annoyed, Chao walks away from the place, mentioning that he needs to practice more to perfect his fighting skills. Shanger, the sister of Chen, also follows him. Later at night, when Chao and Chen arrive at Bang's house to celebrate his father's birthday, they witness a horrific scene where the whole family of Bang is murdered. Terrified, Chao and Chen search for Bang around the house but fail to find him. After a while, Chao approaches Bang's dying father and finds a needle in his throat, around which the body part has turned blue. Following this, Chao returns to his fourth master, Li, and provides him with the needle he found on the dead body. Li takes a closer look at the needle and declares it to be a special weapon of Jin, a black, poisonous needle. He also mentions that the needle is so poisonous that it can kill anyone in contact within 15 minutes. Chao then asks Li if he's seen Jin in person. Li replies that whoever has seen Jin has not survived. The following morning, Huang gets to know about the death of the 23 members of Bang's family. He also learns that the massacre was done by none other than Jin himself. Expectedly, Huang is shocked to hear this and expresses his wish to meet the murderer. Meanwhile, the police officers paste notices around the whole city, informing people that whoever will provide them with the whereabouts of Jin will receive an impressive bounty from the government. They also mention that Jin has mercilessly murdered a whole family and has also stolen a valuable item from them. Meanwhile, Chao stares at the poster and thinks of taking revenge for his friend. Later at night, the fourth master Li and Chao are attacked by three unknown martial artists at their training club. Fortunately, Li and Chao are able to dodge their attacks and fight them back, compelling them to retreat. After this, the attackers return to their master and inform him about their failure in killing Chao. The scar-faced master yells at his men for failing their attack and refuses to pay them any money. At the same time, Li converses with Chao and informs him that he can no longer teach him, as his knowledge is limited. He understands the urge of Chao to learn the Baji Fist skill, so keeping that in mind, he suggests Chao leave his school and go to another famous teacher named Xuan. Li believes that Xuan is an expert in Baji Fist and will be the best teacher for Chao. He also makes it clear that Xuan does not accept normal students to his school. The following day, Chao bids farewell to his loved ones and heads towards Xuan's school. After walking for a few hours, he finally arrives at his destination and requests Xuan to take him as a student. However, the famed master gives him no attention and tells him that he does not accept any new students. But Chao is so determined to learn the skills of Baji Fist that he stays outside the school for two days and requests Xuan whenever he goes past his way. Impressed by his patience and dedication to learn the Baji Fist skill, Xuan asks Chao to follow him and takes him to a secluded place in the mountains. There, he teaches him to do basic household chores and again examines his honesty. The following day, Xuan begins teaching him the key skills to master the Baji Fist. He makes him support heavy weights on his forearms and carry loads. Throughout the whole training, Chao does not show a single sign of restlessness, impressing Master Xuan. After around six months of rigorous training, Xuan tells Chao that he should return to the town as he's heard that something has happened to his previous master. Without wasting any time, Chao arrives at the town and gets to know that his fourth master Li has died. 
Moreover, the people there believe that Chow is the killer, as Li had abandoned him and sent him away. The people also say that Chow is related to Jin Tianbao. Afraid, Chow flees from the town and arrives at his old academy where he surprisingly finds the same needle that was used to kill Bong's family. With this, Chow is sure that Jin had entered the academy and killed his master. In the next scene, while roaming around the town, Chow meets Shanger and she becomes very happy to see him. She takes him to her house and shows him the pitiful condition of her brother Chen. Shanger informs Chow that her brother has become addicted to opium and would do anything to get a dose of it. Furthermore, she reveals that Chen has mortgaged their house to pay for the opium seller, and now they have nowhere to go. Sadly, she mentions that her father couldn't handle the situation and died a few days ago. Hearing all this, Chow consoles Shanger and together they visit their master's grave. Chow pays respect to his late master and also tells Shanger that he will avenge all the troubles caused by Jin Tianbao. Saying this much, he returns to his current master. As soon as he meets Xuan in the secluded area, he promises to work harder and make him proud. Xuan then increases his amount of training and pushes him to his limits. After teaching him enough, Xuan leaves Chow alone in the house along with a letter. In the letter, Xuan has mentioned that he has taught everything related to Baji Fist, and now it's Chow's turn to practice and master the skill. Following this, a determined Chow decides to find Jin Tianbao and take revenge for whatever he did with his master and his friends. In the following scene, when Chow arrives in the town, he notices some gangsters taking Shanger away and putting a knife on her neck. The gangsters also threaten Shanger to pay all the money that her brother has used to buy opium. Chow intervenes in the nick of time and fights with the gangsters, but fails to stop them from taking Shanger. He then walks inside the house to take a look at Chen and becomes sad after finding him lying on the floor. Unfortunately, at the same time, the gangsters return and attack him. Chow fights them and sends them away, but not before informing them that he wants to talk to their leader. Moments later, the scar-faced leader of the gangster group arrives there. Chow is shocked to find that he's none other than his old friend, Bong. Bong accuses Chow of being jealous of their wealth and also murdering his family members. Chow denies the allegations, but Bong reveals that he's seen Chow's manual of Baji Fist with the murderer when he attacked his family. He also mentions that Chow killed Li after he found out about his crimes. Hearing this, Chow tries to explain himself and shows him the black needle that he found at the academy. But Bong refuses to listen and starts fighting. During the battle, Chow attacks him on his chest, injuring Bong badly. Hence, the scar-faced gang leader retreats with a promise that they will meet again shortly. The next day, Chow visits a nearby antique pawn shop and sells some items to collect enough money to pay Shanger's captors and free her. In the pawn shop, he notices a vase similar to what he saw in Bong's house. He tries to inquire with the shop owner about the person who sold him the piece, but the owner refuses to answer. While returning to Chen with the money, Chow overhears some people discussing the impending fight competition, where the winner will receive $20 as a winning amount. Wasting no time, Chow arrives at the fighting competition wearing an eye patch, trying to hide his identity. Despite this, the third master Huang quickly recognizes him, but prefers to keep his mouth shut and enjoy the battle. During his first round, Chao battles with a samurai warrior and defeats him after multiple attempts. After the match is over, Huang calls Chao at his home and provides him with $30 as a prize. He also asks him to teach his students how to master the skills of Baji at his academy, but Chao kindly refuses. Afterward, Chow returns to the kidnapper's place and provides them with the money they asked for. But this time, the kidnappers mention that they need $50 instead of $30 to free Shanger. Enraged, Chow argues with the kidnappers and fights with other members of their squad, releasing Shanger. Then the two friends destroy the opium stock with fire so that it cannot damage the lives of more youths. Next, after returning home, Shanger suggests they leave through the window as one of the men he fought has recently died. Chow then carries Chen on his back towards the woods and leaves the town along with Shanger. Together, they arrive at the same place where Chow's master Xuan used to train him. 
After settling Shonger and Chen in the room, Chao heads out of the house to the morgue. He examines the dead body of the samurai fighter secretly and finds the same black needle on his back. He also finds a locket that Master Huang hangs on his waist. He then immediately visits the pawn shop and threatens the owner to tell him the truth about the person who sold him the vase. After a bit of threatening, the shop owner finally reveals that the person who sold him the vase is none other than Huang's servant. The next day, Chao tells everything to his friends, Chen and Shanger. The siblings want to help Chao, so when he leaves to find Master Huang, Chen runs away to meet Bong. Unfortunately, after arriving at the master's place, he overhears Huang's conversation with his worker about how much he lost in the opium. Huang then asks his men to find Chao so that they can together learn Baji's fist style. He also tells his men to kill Chao if he does not comply. Meanwhile, Chen meets Bong and asks him to believe in his friend and also tells him that he can show him the murderer of his family. At the same time, Chao confronts Huang and tells him that he knows that he is Jin Tian Bao. Huang laughs evilly, which confirms the allegations that he is in fact the notorious killer Jin. He then proceeds to attack Chao, but just then, Chen and Bong arrive to help their friend. Together they fight Huang, but the powerful master manages to strike Bong with the poisonous black needle. Afraid, Chen and Chao carry Bong on their back and rush to the medical station. But unfortunately, their efforts are futile, as Bong passes away because of the deadly poison injected inside him. After burying him, the group returns to the house in the forest, where Chao starts following the manual of Baji Fist and trains very hard. After a few weeks of training, he returns to the town to keep an eye on Huang. One day, while he looks from a window, he finds something shocking. Huang takes off his mask and reveals himself to be the fourth master, Li. It turns out that he had never died and was just pretending to be Huang. The dead body found earlier was in fact that of Huang. Meanwhile, Li also notices Chao peeking from the hole of the window and throws a needle at him. Luckily, Chao manages to dodge the needle. Following this, Li walks out of his room and tells Chao that Jin Tian Bao is a mere character they created, when he, Huang, and Bong's father attacked a prestigious family for their wealth. He then mentions that even after getting a lot of wealth, he's still not satisfied because Huang and Bong's father had reached a higher level compared to him. Li admits that he felt jealous of his friend's success and killed them one by one. As soon as he finishes saying this, he also attacks Chao. However, this time Chao uses his special Baji Fist techniques and defeats Li easily. But instead of killing his former master, he hands him over to the police. In the last scene, Chen and Shanger approach Chao and ask him about his situation. Chao tells them that he found the culprit and nearly killed him. At the same time, the police also arrive there after capturing Li. Chao comes closer to his former master and expresses his gratitude for him. Before being taken away, Li hands over the manual of Baji Fist to Chao and tells him that he wants to see him become a Grand Master. The movie ends with the same old man from the beginning of the movie narrating the story and telling how Chao became a legendary Baji Fist Master.